Back my script. Here's this. Watch and be amazed. As we go through and we talk about how you can begin to script things out. So here's a nice little code. It does nothing here. But what I did was I took the song Thriller, because that's Andy's favorite for Halloween. I have some colored eyes that will happen here in a second. Um, this is a favorite song. The, the eyes will actually change color as the uh, music progresses. And then something will happen down here with a little servo motor. Now think of how powerful you can actually take projects in your classroom using cardboard, maybe some coloring paper or scissors or whatever you want to rig up. And um, his eyes are not working. So you'll have to see that later. <laughs> Just imagine that it's amazing. It probably came undone here as I was going through here. This five minute rush is awful. But don't worry, there's always a backup plan. So I'm going to jump to code.org. Does anybody use that? Yeah. Is eyes lighting up? Oh, well, this would help. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back to that. It'll be awesome, don't worry. So code.org is a free site. They actually have a primary section into this now, so it goes K through whatever. And you can actually go in and begin to code with your kids. And you take like Angry Birds, which is really hooked on people, and you go back and they actually can learn how to begin to program uh, through things like Angry Birds. So to show you what that would look like, stick this in here, hopefully that will come back later. We can say, try again, then we'll jump up a little bit, show you how it works. So you would move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward, maybe. And I can advance a little bit more. He'll run into the wall. And try again if I need to. There's also a really cool zombie one. A couple, uh, before that, you can add your entire class into it. You can add your entire grade level, your school. Everybody can just do it when there's free time. It's loads of fun. Uh, we're going to advance one more to another site called Tinker. Five seconds, man. And with Tinker, I'm just going to go to a project and we'll do reverse engineering. I will play this later because it's awesome. Um, so here is a game that I made. Sorry, my five seconds, but it's loads of fun. Here's Andy again. <laughs> and you can throw stuff at him. And my time's up, but he'll walk across here. But basically, you can take a game and then recode the entire thing to have your favorite friends be featured at TIFF. Right. Five minutes is tough. 